very warm welcome to Bharata First. I'm Frank Rausen Pereira. This is FRP Explains. First, let me inform you about Bharata First Knowledge Center, learning experience like none other, and it will transform the way you learn and gain knowledge as well. It will help you not only in your competitive exams journey, but also make you a better Bharatiya. Go to kc.bharatafirst.com and register now. This is the last chance for the limited period early bird offer. Orientation has already begun and the classes start on the 1st of July at 7.15 p.m. These are live classes. In case you miss them, there's no need to fret. You can always catch up on the recordings. They will be available for a period of one year. So go to kc.bharatafirst.com and register now. Since you're here, please like the video, subscribe, hit the bell icon and then all notifications and do share the content as well so that more people get to know about Bharata First. Right then, so the Rajasthan government has written to the uh, DOPT asking for the CADA strength to be increased from 313 to 365. So once in five years, the CADA strength, the state governments as well as the union government sit together and decide and discuss on the CADA strength of a particular state and it either goes up or comes down based on uh, what is the kind of uh, requirement that there is there. So the CADA strength of Rajasthan right now is 313. They want it to be increased to 365 because uh, uh, Rajasthan is saying that many of its IAS officers have been sent on central deputation and the state uh, administration is under a lot of stress and the pandemic has only made things worse. Let's not forget that Rajasthan has been one of those states that has been badly affected as a result of the pandemic and hence uh, we've seen that the administration has been in a little more stress than usual. So the demand that is coming through from the Rajasthan government at this point in time seems justified. Whether or not it will happen remains to be seen because what's going to happen next is there's going to be a discussion between uh, the officials of the center and of the state and there'll be several rounds of discussions and finally they will decide on what the number should be and what the strength can be. Another uh, thing to ponder about or Another aspect to bring in in all of this is let's not forget the number of posts that are available is going down on a yearly basis and now it is at around 700 uh, civil servants that will be taken as a whole, uh, you know, going forward. That number may come down when we go, when we progress with every passing year. So there's a clear indication really as far as the central government is concerned that uh, they are looking more at lateral entrance and they are looking more at uh, moving out of uh, a systematic in a, moving out in a systematic way to ensure that there is more privatization when there is more privatization there is going to be less need for civil servants and that is the direction that we are heading in at the moment so even though there is a need to increase the number of IAS officers or civil servants it might not happen because the number of IAS officers or civil servants that are being taken in itself is coming down on a yearly basis. So these are some aspects to consider and think about and uh, for you to, to uh, really look into and understand as to how you need to proceed. With that, it's a wrap on this edition of FRP Explains. If you like the content, please like the video, subscribe, hit the bell icon and then all notifications. And uh, you can go to kc.bharatafirst.com and register for the Knowledge Center as well. Classes begin on the 1st of July at 7.15 p.m. These are live classes. In case you miss out on the live classes, there's no problem. You can always catch up on the recordings. This is the last chance to avail the limited period early bird discount. So go to kc.bharatafirst.com and register today. For those of you who would like to come forward and make a contribution using our UPI IDs, here they are. A small contribution that you make will go a long way in us bringing you this content. That's it from me. See you again next time.